Hi guys, my name is Dr. Zainal Bora and I've done my MBBS and MD in Radiology from AIMS New Delhi and I'm an educator on the Unacademy platform. I'm beginning this new series which is going to be focused on syndromes. So now syndromes as we all know are very scary and very volatile. So what I've uh, tried to do here is break them alphabetically where we'll be having a short short uh, video on uh, each alphabet. Uh, that we'll be looking at and we'll have various important syndromes from that. So we're starting with the first thing which is A. Uh, so do let me know how you like this idea and if you want this to continue uh, till Z uh, or not in the comment section below and uh, if any changes uh, that you want. So let's begin uh, with all the syndromes that are important starting with A. So the first one we want to look at is Icardi syndrome. Now three main things we want to know from Icardi syndrome. One, and all of these we'll get from the word itself, right? So we want to take out three letters from the name Icardi and we're going to remember the three manifestations. From C, the main thing in the brain that we're going to see is either corpus callosum agenesis or dysgenesis. So we'll be looking at the MRI features of that. How does corpus callosum agenesis dysgenesis appear? And this is an independent question in itself. So remember the main sequence that will be very, very helpful is the sagittal sequence. So in the mid-sagittal plane, when you don't see the bundle of corpus callosum here, you know that it is absent. So you might see a small dysgenetic corpus callosum or it might be completely absent like this case and you would find that the gyri are all dipping down. Apart from that, when we look at an axial plane, a very very important image, we find that both the ventricles are parallelly oriented, right? So you find these parallelly oriented ventricles and you do find that the posterior horns, right, the occipital horns are more dilated and this is referred to as the keyhole appearance or colpocephaly. So this is the keyhole appearance that you have when the occipital horns appear larger and something on the coronal image you find that these horns appear like a viking helmet. So this has been given the name viking helmet sign and then we find these abnormal white matter bundles. We will see these two white matter bundles. These are called as the props bundles. So these are the white matter bundles which are seen in place of the corpus callosum commissural fibers. Okay, so these are the MRI manifestations on a side note which can be an independent question. So one is corpus callosum agenesis. Coming back to the name itself. From R, we are taking up chorioretinal. So remember you have chorio plus retinal lacunae. Alright, so retinal lacunae are something that is the pathognomic feature of Icardi syndrome. Alright, so this is something that you will see lacunae or pits in the chorioretinal layers. And from I, you want to take out infantile spasms. Alright, so these are the three manifestations from C, R and I that you get from the name itself that is Icardi syndrome. Moving ahead to the next one. Alport syndrome. So now here we want to make a few changes around the name itself and we remember the manifestations. So from the letter A, you want to make a 4. It does look like a 4, isn't it? So we make a letter 4 and that tells us that it is a defect in the collagen 4. Also remember it's X-linked inheritance. Recessive dominant both have been described. So collagen 4, X-linked, recessive or dominant. Apart from that, what are the other manifestations? So from the letter L, what do we get? We get that the lens is involved. You find lengthy corners which can again be anterior or posterior. This is your first manifestation. From the letter P, I want you to make an ear out of it. Alright, so you try to imagine this that there is an ear or a pinna which is coming from the letter P. And that tells you that this person will also have sensory neural hearing loss. So I ear and what is the third thing from the letter O we are going to make a beautiful little basket here. So when we talk about the basket what is the significance you can see that there is basket weave pattern of the basement membrane which means that the glomerulus is involved. So remember basket weave glomerulus so the third organ to be involved is kidney. Right. So when we look at an image of a normal glomerular basement membrane, this is how it appears. Whereas in Alports, you will find splitting and basket weaving appearance in Alports. So three manifestations, AC4, collagen 4, X-linked inheritance, LC lens, lengthy corners, PC make a pinna and remember here, hearing loss, SNHL 
and oh say make a basket out of it basket weave in the glomerulus all right so this is about alcohol syndrome going ahead to fetal alcohol syndrome so the facies are very very important in addition remember mental retardation right very very important this is the most common preventable cause of mental retardation that you have and what is the hallmark in the phases is the typical question multiple times asked is the presence of the smooth philtrum so the philtrum is going to be smooth with a thin upper lip and small eyes flattening of the mid facial profile are all the features you would see in a baby with fetal alcohol syndrome but the hallmark the buzzword is going to be absent filtrum all right or smooth filtrum next we have apert syndrome so apert syndrome remember is a syndrome which has these two manifestations one very important craniosynostosis so you are going to be having craniosynostosis most commonly you will have brachycephaly all right so brachycephaly most common and what is this that we are seeing in the hands this is called as mitten hands right so you have syndactyly which presents as mitten hands and remember apert syndrome is a defect in the fgfr2 receptor and this is a combination of craniosynostosis and mitten hands apart from that you can also have prognathism which is associated going ahead to the next one which is the allergen syndrome so allergen syndrome remember has been called as the hepatico arterial syndrome right it's called as hepatico arterial syndrome where you have problem with the liver and the blood vessels so in the liver what do you find you find that there is cholestasis the bile radicals are atretic leading to cholestasis all right so there's going to be cholestatic jaundice in the liver and you will have various anomalies with the heart as well as the blood vessels like coagulation of aorta so this is about allergen syndrome in the name apart from that very very important facies you will have these typical triangular facies here right so that is what is found and as far as the vertebral anomalies go in the x ray we will have this butterfly sort of appearance so this is the presence of butterfly vertebrae all right so this is what we find in a case of allergen syndrome so these were the important syndromes that i had for you in the short uh, video uh, which was from letter a and hopefully we'll be seeing the other letters very very soon so see you all take care goodbye